So basically, I have found a screenshot of the subreddit that someone else posted by the username of u slash three of of re needs to be and uh he i think it's a he posted a subreddit post that captions on a way to monthly drama which shows john swan's uh tweet that he screenshotted and there is dreams comment and this screenshot of that is probably taken by deaf noodles to who tweets out dream exposes small commentary youtuber for making an account and person eat dream and using fake dream accounts to say racial slurs and to have sexual interactions with fans. The small commentator claims a family friend did it on his behalf. And uh, let me just read what was shown from the subreddit itself. Dream says, this guy's bad news. A while back, right after I interviewed with him for Minecraft documentary, he changed his profile picture and name on Discord to Minecraft to mine and started DMing people pretending to be me. He sent people the N-word, no he did not, and a lot of other stuff, as well as said sexual stuff while claiming that it was me. And giving his main Twitter to vouch, where he would then, from his main Twitter, vouch that it was me, and by and say that we were amazing friends, and link the documentary to quote unquote prove it. Once I confronted him about it, like very nicely given the circumstances, he said that his friend had hacked his accounts and not. I don't, I didn't reply to him and found him and I don't think he has super on me since then. And for Dream to slander John Swan like that by saying that John Swan was the one who changed his profile picture and name on Discord to, you know, Dream's name and started DMing people pretending to be him, that is completely false. There is no evidence of John Swan doing that. John Swan, on the other hand, claimed that it was his family friend who did it. He literally just claimed that it was his family friend who did it. I'll show you. He decided it would be a good idea to start trolling on my account with his friends and use some alt account as well as my account to have conversations with about three different people. One of these was Harley TBS YT. And so therefore, Dream is just twisting John Swan's story which I think happened in like 2019, so that would be two years ago. And so, to to my knowledge right now, Dream is likely the one who is slandering John Swan. Basically, by lying about him. I mean, seriously, seriously, look at this. He lied about this. I don't think anyone should ever trust Dream again after the stunt that he completely pulled. Like, seriously, this is unacceptable, and Dream should be held responsible for the consequences of his actions. The fact that Dream would go out of his way to slander John Swan like that is just completely irresponsible of him. 
I mean, seriously, what kind of a person who is most likely a public figure would go out of his own way and slander somebody who didn't even do anything wrong in the first place? Many of John Swan's pals, like Augie RC, Bowax, Optimus even, had to defend John Swan because Dream is likely the type of person who would just get away with anything, and it's really sad that 18 million sub creator composed gain a lot of traction, tried to ruin John Swan's career. And he thinks he can actually really get away with this. I mean, I am just so angry that Dream would use his own narrative to lie, lie, and lie. And he is on Dream's side, which means he supports the lie that Dream is making. I mean, this is this is so disingenuous that Game Star to do that. I mean, come on. Why on earth would you believe him? There, there's no legit, there's no legit no motive to chat like this. Anyone who's spoken with John Swan can tell you that it's not his character descent and word and weird twelve-year-old boy humor. Exactly. As someone who has personally spoken with John Swan several times, slash grappling with him, I generally don't believe. You. He do what Dream is accusing him of publicly. The fact that he spun this to make John look like a bad person goes against everything I've ever seen from John. If it doesn't help Dream's case, that multiple people have come out to corroborate details about John's story, which to me makes this look like a vindictive attack on John meant to make him look bad intentionally, considering the loads of people have tried to get his intention. If Green didn't believe that John Swan, that implies he has reason to not trust John. I just want to know what his reason is, generally. You give people the benefit of the doubt by de default, unless they are untrustworthy or give you sneaky vibes. That's exactly what Dream is. He is untrustworthy and he gives up snaky vibes. And I'm extremely disappointed in King Sword, which I'll make another video about this shortly on today. But this is quite unacceptable on his behalf. I am so disappointed in the way this is going. Because what Dream has done now is that he is trying to actually ruin his own reputation while getting key to ultimately ruin his own reputation again after what happened last time. And I do not appreciate this at all. And plus, I will respond to Keem about the French girl interview because it's been two months and we still haven't had the interview. I'm just so disappointed, however, mainly because of the fact that Dream has slandered John Swan and he should at least apologize. He should at least apologize. I'm not going to take no for an answer. Apologize, Dream. You have done something so dirty. And no one will ever forgive you for this. No one. Ever. <laughs>